Hey folks, Joe here, resume review time. Um, today we have somebody with a finance background, which is kind of interesting. Um, so they have about four years of experience. Um, so let's just see, um, you know, what, what they're all about here. So highly analytical, analytical problem solver with four years of experience within the finance industry, delivering informed insights to drive data-based decision-making and influence stakeholders at every level. At Kane Anderson, I have been able to lead operations through financial reporting, focusing on maximizing efficiencies in order to increase company revenue, quickly adapt to new technologies and excel in dynamic, fast-paced environments. Okay, I mean, it sounds pretty good. Um, Yeah, no, that's pretty good. All right, now we go to education. Again, education, since you've been in the workforce a couple of years now, you don't really want to put education at the top. It doesn't matter. Once you start working, like nobody cares about education anymore, really, um, unless you're going for very specific roles or you're going for high-level roles that want a master's or a doctorate degree or something like that. But once you start working, man, like that's all people want to know is like, what did you do? Um, and how long have you been doing it? And, you know, the school stuff doesn't matter as much. University of California, Irvine, the Paul Mirage School of Business, June 2020, BA, emphasis in finance, 3.92, Latin honors, magna cum laude, nice. Life and health insurance, FINRA Series 7 and Series 66. Cool. That's really nice to know that you're licensed in those things. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so professional experience, Investor Operations Associate, Kane Anderson, Los Angeles, California, 2021 and present. Manage the daily operations of a leading alternative investment manager firm that manages over $34 billion in assets for institutional and high net worth clients. It's, okay, I would just say investment management firm that manages, that's a lot of manage in like a very short uh, distance here maybe oversees 34 billion or is responsible for 34 billion, something else. I wouldn't do managing it. Coordinate with accounting, tax, treasury, and finance departments to efficiently onboard and process roughly 500 monthly transactions while also providing client reporting analysis in a timely and accurate manner. Okay. Improved operational efficiencies by 20% through the creation of Salesforce reports that we're able to track quarterly reporting and fee structures. Create in-depth fund performance reports and ad hoc analysis through the use of Excel, prioritizing attention to detail to ensure complete compliance with SEC regulations. Uh, yeah, this sounds pretty good too. The only thing I would say is you have three sentences that are in the present tense. So like you currently manage, you currently coordinate it, coordinate and you currently create in-depth uh, reports. And then this is the only one that's kind of an oddball because this is something that you already finished and it's done. So maybe put this one last and then put the other three, group them together just so it's like, it's kind of like, um, yeah, just so it's a little bit more organized, but that's, I don't think, I don't know how much that actually really matters to be honest, but it's just bothering me. Financial advisor, equitable advisors, was in Hills, California, June, 2020 to July, 2021. Delivered personalized investment recommendations to help over 20 clients achieve short and long-term financial goals emphasizing asset diversification to continually enhance clients' portfolios. Conducted financial assessments to determine appropriate investment tools in accordance with state rules and regulations. Completed courses in financial modeling, portfolio analysis, investment strategy, and client relationship management. So, 
So yeah, this one's a little bit this one's a little bit light. You only have three bullet points here, and one of the bullet points is talking about like training that you took while you were on the job. So really you only have like two bullet points. So I would try to dig a little deeper and see how maybe you can add at least one more. Um, just to kind of beef up this section a little bit. Because you were there for like a year. So like um, if all your day to day was doing was meeting with uh, meeting with clients, I mean, I, I guess I could see how how that would um, kind of shake out to just like not too much variety in what you were doing. So like, how do you add more? Um, just give it some thought. I don't know if it's if it's not going to be possible. It's not going to be possible, but just give it some thought. Program Budget Analyst, UCLA Anderson Executive Education, Los Angeles, 2019, June to September 2019. Orchestrated a collaborative effort with three program managers to successfully facilitate business education and workforce development conferences for Fortune Global 500 company industry executives in topics relating to leadership development, business optimization, process improvement, and culture of excellence. That's really cool. Analyzed and consolidated data for uh, of over 2,000 participant evaluation forms to create expense reports using pivot tables, um, enhanced performance metrics, and reduced operating costs by 30% for future conferences. Cool. Volunteer work. Event coordinator, Special Olympics, January 2015 to present. Collaborate with volunteer team at the 2015 World Games and continue to cultivate positive relationships with participants at regional athletic tournaments. This is really awesome. Good for you. That's really great. Skills, proficient in Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Power BI, Salesforce, and Refinitive. Refinitive? I don't know. Don't know what that tool is. Um, yeah, no, this, I think this looks really good. Um, other than the education thing and those up other couple of little things I mentioned, like it's written really well. Um, I think, um, I don't know, see, I don't know as much about the finance world, um, but if I was going to give you some advice from a tech perspective, like some things that you might wanna do to kind of uh, grow in your career, um, I think you should consider learning how to code. And the reason why I say that is because even if you just work in Excel and, um, and let's say Power BI and Salesforce, like there's things that you can do to make your job easier if you know how to code a little bit. Um, like in Microsoft Excel, for example, you can write your own um, macros and you can actually get your reports to do like you know, programmatically build your reports and not have to do it like by hand every time. Uh, it's nice that you know how to create the pivot tables. That's a huge feature inside Excel. Um, but, you know, if you can learn some VBA, um, which is the coding language that uh, Excel uses, um, then you might be able to, you know, take your Excel skills right now as they exist and put them on steroids. Um, so that's something that you might want to look into. Um, aside from that, I think this resume looks pretty solid to me, to be honest. Um, so, so yeah, um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know, um, and we can talk some more about it. But, um, yeah, that's the review. Please uh, share our channel with your friends. Take care. Bye.